Welcome back to 10th Isle Gaming. My name is Ryan, and I hope you're doing reasonably well. Today, there was an update in Boundless, which is kind of exciting. The decorative crops. Uh, the next level of farming has arrived from today. Brand new set of crops are available. Uh, boost prestige builds. That's, that's cool. Just uh, list the different types of them. Neat. Uh, beacon Reserve Boundaries. We've expanded the protection afforded to beacons and boundless. Upon reaching 10k prestige, a horizontal boundary will now be automatically reserved around the outside of your beacon. That's interesting. Permissions granted new title surveyor. Okay, so it's got no... Okay, cool. Knowledge filters. Okay, those are... Those are going to be nicer. We're going to be able to search stuff. That'll be cool. One other thing you may notice here, we are using a different character than we were before. And that's because there have been a few changes. I have changed the build up a little bit here. Can't go down there quite yet, but we've carved out a little bit more. I've added a second character to this build and some other surprises too. Oh boy, so some of the surprises. We we got some stuff in here. And uh, yeah, we got some coils for our forge. We got a, quite a few of them, so we've obviously spent some money. I bought some coils. They were not super expensive we bought five of them at about 1600 or something like that a piece 1500 something like that not uh not too shabby and i'll explain the reason why all right so we're in the forge here and i have recently acquired some titanium with a little bit of help from our good friend white tiger and we did that by just going to till we spent quite a long time on Till trying to get uh, the goods. And we did eventually find some with a little bit of help. I've had to lift the character help ban, this mysterious thing that I really haven't been enforcing. Uh, it just kind of just put it, putting it out there. And here's the reason why. When we went to forge our newly found titanium, we it turns out that the effectiveness was only going to be 111 I believe and even with five of these advanced coils on it it's only up to 157 so if we look at one of these others I think these are all maybe yeah look at the shovel here that's at 200 now and that was previously only at 180 it was at 187 so the one thing I didn't realize is there's a discrepancy or a big difference between forging different types of stuff. I should have known that that was a thing. I didn't check to see if copper was different. So it's just, it must be above a certain threshold. Let me know down in the comments if, if there's something I'm missing around that. But I think as we get above the silver uh, and into the gold and all that, that's where it just gets a little bit more complicated with the effectiveness so forging the titanium with just the pure boon one here has been awful i've wasted probably about 30 on some of the worst forges that i've had and we had recently forged with unstable or imperfect and that was real bad so we've definitely got ourselves some deconstruction resin and i've also gone the sledgehammer approach and just break the forge down and just accept our losses on the pure boon but we need to start forging these so what we've done is actually take what i was able to make and make the best of it we were able to go ahead and get a little bit more in here and then we were able to go even further and get a little bit more going. 
it seems like it's just going to be this way. We've got a little bit more titanium right there. We're going to have to keep using our titanium to get more titanium so that we can keep getting more titanium in the hopes that eventually we can make the better forging materials, which would be at least pure boon 2, which we know takes spitter eyes. And we've been on the lookout for those spitter eyes, but we haven't been able to find them. This smelted up our silver here. So we're able to find some stuff here. Silver, gold, titanium. All pretty nice stuff, but not really the best of luck. So let's take a quick look here at uh, some of the updates. We're just starting to clear out some of this stuff here. Nothing too fancy. I want to put in stuff. I'm going to use that very loosely. I'm not sure what exactly. I just wanted to extend our beacon a bit so we could put in coils so that I could maybe get some ideas flowing eventually for this build because we haven't really done anything with it still still growing our crops that's good stuff but i'm not really into the farming so much we're going to get a little bit more hopefully into building and here's the thing that we've talked about quite a bit with our character i want to remove all of this crafting from here so we can actually have a competent and useful forger and gatherer like a hunter gatherer character and I can't do that when we're down the volume craft here and we're down these other uh, couple of points there as well it's just so that's 10 points that we're down that's a real problem to be down that many points right now because that could go into maximizing our attribute bonus up here or maybe putting some points into sling bows and the hammer mastery or even one of the epics for one of those two down here it needs to be done so what we did was created a new character and it again is to satisfy this crafting so we created this character Suaz. this is Suaz. just a uh, gonna be a crafter gonna take over most of that stuff so I'm probably going to be leveling this character up on future streams and maybe in some videos we'll see. It's going to be interesting because doing the early leveling on a character really is not my favorite thing. It's pretty well balanced as I've said many times on stream and in videos. I think it's pretty good entry to the game. It's a pretty good presentation to what to expect with the game. A little bit of grind, a little bit of reward good stuff all around but the reason that we've switched to this character is because we just cannot sacrifice those points and i might as well have crafting on a separate character because eventually it's just going to become an issue with being able to go to other planets and forge and do this and do that it's just going to eventually be a problem so we created a second character and we've Definitely bought some stuff from stores. I think I spent maybe about 15,000 of the coin or so on coils. And I can't remember what else I bought, but it, it was definitely... Oh, some of the some of the rough uh, emeralds and topaz and just, just one or two of those just so we could actually get that stuff going. But that's really about it. That's what's been going on lately. A lot of grind. We did hit level 24 on our character. So that was nice. And we're only like level 4 or 5 here on this second character. Again, none of these rules were hard and fast. It was just an experiment to see if we could start forging tools, really start progressing in the game without creating a second character, without accepting trades, without interacting with a whole lot of other people in the game. And it turns out that was kind of silly because that is not really the best way to interact in this game. So that's going to do it for this video here. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit that dislike button if you disliked the video. Hope you come on back here to 10th Isle Gaming for more wonderful boundless content subscribe 
click that bell for notifications so that you get notified for all of our beautiful videos here. Man, this rain, huh? Meow, and have an awesome day.